All right. What's up, Sam? <laughs> I'm here with another question. Yes. And another cheers. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Do you see my shirt? Sandy McSoundface. Yeah. Bodie McBlowface. Oh. Okay, so this is going to be the next video in our kind of me asking, yeah. not stupid questions, but basic questions that I just don't understand, even after growing up in sound world. Um, so today I was going to ask about, I'm not going to pronounce the name right, the in-ear monitors and what makes them different from just normal headphones with the armatures versus just other headphones. So yeah, um, I would like to know why those are special and different. Um, awesome. Good question. And something that I actually have been pondering and diving into on the member side and Actually, it's um, timely. I've got some... Um, yeah, it's funny because you're asking that and I just got done doing videos on exactly <laughs> that. Um, going in depth. But And I, it's cool because I have the parts taken yeah. apart. Cool. Um, one thing that puzzles me is armature... Well, armature. They call them balanced armatures. Okay. That's, and I'm reading about it and kind of learning this as I go. I've known about them for years. Um, I converted peppers from an armature system into a driver, but I've been calling driver, finding a name for the non-armature system. Uh -huh. um, so probably when the you best say, when you is say like drive. a voice coil system, okay. a voice coil driver. And is that closer to like earbuds? A voice coil driver is like a speaker, okay. like a little round speaker with a little coil of wire and a magnet. It's like Got a speaker. It. It's like your earbuds. It's like the Apple cool. I earbud. It's... It's the normal thing. Mm -hmm. Headphones are like that. Got it. Then, now, there's many types. There's headphones. There's all different variations. Mm -hmm. But the most common thing is these, uh, we'll call them voice coil drivers. Okay. Voice coil drivers. And then, um, then there's armatures. Armatures are little machines. They're like little... Um, now, I can give you a rundown. What we'll, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, I actually have... A little thing that I made for the other video okay. and also for messing around and learning um, so we'll get that out and we'll get the GoPro out so we can show people and we'll get a little music player out okay. and that will let you hear them all um, yeah let's cool. do that sounds good I can do this. I just, you get this, they're magnetically <laughs> grabbing, yeah. It's, it's kind of, um. I can do it. You set up your own stuff. All right. Mm. Oh, is it just like that? Oh, it's just like that. I see. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get it out like a tripod. And. Um, we're probably going to be right in here somewhere. Okay. And we're still rolling on everything. Yes. Okay, so um, a speaker has kind of a magnet slug, like a little cylinder, mm -hmm. and it could be metal or magnet. Mm -hmm. And then it goes down and hits a plate, Okay. round plate, and that plate's attached to a ring. Mm-hmm. And that ring has a top plate and such that there's a little circular gap. Okay. And that circular gap, and somewhere in there there's a magnet. It's either in the middle or the ring. Somewhere there's a magnet such that the positive of the magnet shows up on one side of the gap, mm -hmm. like on the outside ring, and the negative shows up in the slug in the middle or the pole piece. That's your magnetic circuit. Mm -hmm. You've created this magnetic circuit, so there's a, a, a circular opening. And then you take a coil of wire, you put it in the middle of that, and you attach it to a suspension item that also is a sound radiating item. And when you talk, when the air moves, it wiggles that thing, wiggles the wire in the magnetic gap, and due to the magic of world... <laughs> Truly when a coil of, coil of wire wiggles in a magnetic field, electricity is generated. It's so insane to me how much information comes out of 
any microphone, recording device, just like, I mean, obviously like, you know, records and stuff, how they, the old timey records. It's insane. It doesn't, it, it feels like magic. It feels it like magic that it works. Awesome. It's, it might not be magic, but it's awesome. <laughs> In fact, one thing I'd want to do and I haven't done yet is to take an old phonograph needles. Mm -hmm. I have a bunch of old in a box of, mm -hmm. as I have. And when the needle's wiggling, when it's riding in the tracks of the record, it's wiggling the needle. And mm -hmm. when it moves side to side, it makes like the left side or the right side. The left, and when it moves up and down, it makes the other one. So it kind of, in any case, it riding around in this off-road track that it's cruising in makes sound come out. Well, theoretically, the opposite must be true. So, if you put sound onto the to the magnet to the needle, yeah, if you put voltage there, if that you, little needle will wiggle. Yeah, and if we take that needle, we glued it to a disc of paper, oh. it'll make a speaker. So we gotta try that. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> we gotta That's try so that. That'd crazy. be fun. So, because uh, sound goes both directions. Yeah, if, yeah. It, if it if it wiggles, it makes electricity. Then, then if you put electricity, electricity on it, it, it will wiggle. Yes. Yeah, okay, future video. Uh, okay, future video. Okay, so I talked about how speakers made an armature, and this is something that I'm just learning by reading recently, mm -hmm. is a U-shaped metal magnet, metal coil of wire, and a plate. Okay. Floating in between, suspended in between. Okay. So you've got the... I have a speaker that I will show you that's really neat. We'll bring that down and do another video. Okay. That's built like an armature. Okay. It's, it's that really will be. cool. It's from the 40s or 30s, and it's an old horn driver. And oh, it's I know actually it's... got an arm. It's up at the top that of the stairs. Have... It's yeah. right above that triangular huh. speaker. Okay. And so it's built like an armature. So in any case, there's a plate of wire between, um, in a mag immersed in a magnetic field. So it's, when you put voltage on the coil of wire, mm -hmm. this plate moves. It's attached to a little pin or a little wire. Mm. And that little wire is attached to a diaphragm. Okay. And when that plate moves, it moves the diaphragm. Okay. The diaphragm seals off the top such that there's two sides to the chamber inside inside of here. Inside of here, there's two sides. So one side has got there's a plate somewhere and a diaphragm in there, and one side is sealed, and the other side is vented out that little tiny hole. Mm-hmm. Those see those two little holes? Yeah. Two, so one side, so when it moves, it pushes little puffs of air out the little hole. Okay. And the other side is just like sealed off. All right. So <laughs> it's it's like a, instead of a coil of wire in the middle, yeah. it's a plate of wire between a U. Okay. Similar thing. Similar in any case, ish, yeah. voltage put on the coil creates motion. Yeah. Motion's attached to something. There's a diaphragm. Got so it. now we have, and then here... Is this came from a Future Sonics in uh, here? R.I.P. And it's just like a little uh, R.I.P. Well, no, 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 R.I.P. No. to this uh, in here. <laughs> and this is a, a voice coil driver. And then this came from a UE5, okay. I believe, Ultimate Ears. And this is two little armatures. So I've taken those and reattached them to cables. And I've got them hooked up to this <laughs> music player. So oh. now we can actually mess with them. Oh. Outside of their world, so this is going to be some. Okay, so sounds coming out of both of them. Yeah, so now you can kind of mess with them. You can hold that up to your ear. I'll hold this one away. Okay. And then this one. I just don't understand how this thing makes sound, but it sure does. And then you can hold it up to this microphone here, and then people will be able to hear. It. Okay, so this is the in ear one. Or the armature one. And here's the Future Sonic earbud. The voice coil driver. Okay. And so there's the difference between the two. And those are both huh. similarly priced, similarly aged units. Yeah. Um, you could actually try. And then this is all that's what's in those... Um, I guess, like, my big question is, like, what's the benefit of having an armature system versus a voice coil driver system? Um, that's a good question, and it, there is no definitive better or worse. Most hi-fi stuff for consumer audio yeah. tends to be voice coil driver-based. Yeah. 
Uh, boys could driver based. One of the advantages is that it's just it's something we're used to mm. listening to. There, it's, yeah. a, it's a less complex unit. Uh, I guess my, the one thing that kind of comes to mind with this is like obviously in ear systems for artists have those molded ears so it really does seal off this the sound. This came out of molded ear as well though. Oh. See those blue, see, I had no see, those, idea that... see those blue ones? There's some blue ones over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the same That's thing. That's still a little Go get them. Oh, see, or, yeah, if you, no, the blue ones. Far the blue. The far oh. blue. Oh. There you huh. go. So that's what these came out of. Okay. That's so interesting. And then these are like, say, an armature. Um, no, grab the ones that, um, the farthest the, ones, the kind of nasty looking ones the there. The yeah. ones? Farther. There, yeah, the yeah, those ones. Ones. yeah, the one that, the, uh, yeah, those ones there. Right. That would be what these came out of. Huh. These are a pair of Anthony's ears. I think they say AK. Yeah, they do. Yeah, these are Anthony. Peterson. Anthony ears. You can see huh. the um, bits in there. That's crazy. I assumed that there oh, was. These like... are actually UE fives. These are UE three. So this mm -hmm. is a newer version than that, but it's similar. So these are both professional ears. Yeah. Now one of the one of the things with the voice cool drivers is they need a venting system mm, so they they mm -hmm. something like a speaker as a port often so it's got a little this are little vents these are little ports um so the advantage of the the, the, the these are they the non-armature the, the non voice cool drivers is they sound more they tend to sound more natural they're less yeah. complex they're not necessarily uh they're more used to what we're used to hearing but they need a vent, and when you put that vent in there, huh. then you have more bleed from the outside world. And on stages, that might not be optimal. Got it. And it's difficult to get these to work without a vent and get low end yeah. as well. These don't need a vent, but they have. So these are challenged in the low end without a vent. Mm. These. They don't have a vent, but because they're balanced, are they're closer to the super sub design. When I was building, mm -hmm. when I'm building the um, with the um, PowerSoft M Force, mm -hmm. it's got a lot of force, but there's resonances. There's it's a machine. There's mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. likes to be loaded on both sides. It doesn't have. You don't need. Um, open air as much mm. but you've got these really steep resonances and so you'll see when we get it when i do the the more complex videos on in-ears we'll start to see on these uh, armature systems that they have these peaky responses so mm. they, they do well in the lows now now when i go further is people are making composites if you grab the red ones over oh. there these guys those are bright red ones yeah the bright red ones. Uh, these are Stelsonics. Now these, if you look at them, they have both. They're both. They've got the little round thing. That's crazy. And then they've got the armatures as well. Now I don't know what they're using for what, but since this doesn't have a vent in it, yeah, it might be using the armatures for lows yeah, and yeah. this for mids. I don't know, but you can start to to deal with That's both. That's so of these crazy. I, I guess I just always assumed that like in-ears were like a different technology entirely and then like other ones or I guess like my original assumption was like oh those are just like molded headphones and then I was like no 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 that's clearly not true but now that I'm like oh you can have both that's like completely new information and kind of wild to me and it's just very interesting uh, it, yeah it's fast and then in-ears then are bleeding into i mean so it's not it's not a, a, a definitive line yeah um ultimate ears i believe was bought by logitech okay. logitech makes the mouse and the, all kinds of computer oh, stuff yeah and so in-ears these these it's not just the voice coil drivers are consumer and these are pro yeah now the pro stuff is Can making be... it into consumer and world yeah and so, then it's yeah and then i mean and, like, obviously, versa, yeah, and then yeah. obviously it goes the other way so there's no real it's a blurry line between the two wow that's of course obviously more complex than i assumed <laughs> that's it's really so interesting fun. though yeah and you also see how these turn green uh yeah and these are silver Yes, copper. They use silver. Oh yeah, these the <laughs> copper. The copper 
turns green from sweat or time. Yeah. Uh -huh. to do copper. I think it's silver and copper. I don't know why, but mm. they turn green. Yeah. Cool. I was thinking it was silver, but silver would turn black. Yeah. I think, yeah, copper turns green. Copper turns green. So the, how's the moisture get in there? Hmm? Uh, artist sweat is penetrating. Everywhere. <laughs> All right, cool. Well. All right. I know some more stuff now. Thanks, Sam. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Moscow Mule. Let's drink and do talk sound. <laughs> How about, it's great. It's, it's family time. Let's drink and talk sound. This is what we do. Is this our, is what we do. Past time. <laughs> We're just doing it on video now. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, guys. Mm. I learned things. I hope you guys did, too. All right.